The Other Mare, written by Trallycorn, read by Eighth Flame, Chapter 1, A Cantalot Love Story. As much as I thought I would love being adored by ponies with so much social status, I always did have a lingering fear of public disgrace, one mo wrong move, and suddenly the whole city writes you off as someone not worthy of even bumping into the uh, into on the streets. And no pony respects you at, or any pony with whom you socialize. That's why I was flattered when the esteemed attractive fancy pants covered my behind when my friends got mixed up with my cantalot affairs. I didn't even deserve a, an excuse. I had made some selfish moves back there. What a shameful girl I was in the past. Yet he still stood up for me and complimented my work. And none of those upper-class ponies would dare defy the word of anyone more upper-class than they. I left Candelot that night on good terms with every pony that, that thanks to its faith in me. So naturally, when I ran into him at Princess Cadence's wedding reception, I had to continue our friendship and possibly advance it. Oh, fancy pants, how nice to see you here, I, I said with the cutest inflection it's like impossible. Oh. oh wait. He recognized me after a few seconds and smiled warmly. Rarity. The mayor the, the mayor from the mayor from the garden party. Nice to from the garden party. Nice to see you back in Candelot. Well well yes, well the groom is the brother of the best friends. Twilight Twilight Sparkle, you know you know, you know her. I gaze I gaze his I saw his gaze towards Twilight, who, thank Celestia, was not dancing as spirited as the other party, but enjoyed herself nonetheless. Your friends really, your friends really, really do have connections, don't they? They'd be lucky enough just knowing a mayor as lovely as you. I tried to maintain my composure, hoping I didn't make a fool of myself. I also didn't want to throw my friends under the carriage, so I replied. Well, I feel lucky knowing them. He seemed to appreciate this. You all were very bold out there this afternoon. That changeling revealing that that changeling reveal was a fiasco. But luckily, no pony was hurt, and the royal couple are safe and happy. It culminated in a nice ceremony. He gestured towards Applejack and Rainbow Dash, who were chatting, who chatter, who were chattering about who knows what. Did you make the dresses? I was proudly. I smiled proudly. He remembered my work. Why, yes! Celestia herself invited me to make to make them. Cadence's overly chrysalis's demands, and the change in bridesmaids made it a, a bit more, a bit of a hassle. But I think it worked out nicely. Thank you for remembering my craft. God damn it! I can't do that. He put his hoof on my back. I felt shivers that go down my spine. How could I forget such well-stitched and beautifully blended clothing? I know ponies in the fashion industry who gush about their work, and many ponies in Candelot have ordered their dresses to wear to the gala. I felt honored, so I decided to honor him back. Well, it's all because of your promotion. Y you're so... Oh. Um. Yes, so humble. We heard the DJ put on another love song. Say, how do your dresses hold up on the dance floor? He he asked, holding out his hoof. I sort of stared at him for a second before putting on a floody expression. I could, I would imagine pretty well. Oh God. We took the we took to the dance floor, performing some graceful moves, even with the blank pop sound track. Granted, I may have come off a bit strong, but in the end, we didn't seem to mind. We, we even got a picture to, taken together. I remember that episode. Unfortunately, we had to leave for the restroom in the middle of the song, and I didn't see him for the rest of the night. He did respond when I sent him a letter that night asking if we had been upset if he had been upset with me, then maybe I had bumped him in the wrong place during the dance. He assured me I had nothing, I had done nothing wrong. What, a, what an irony. 
I would name that would turn out to be, and he still found me very charming, I shivered. He continued to write each other letters, discussing current events, fashion, and all sorts of high society. I also told him about what went on in Ponyville since he liked to hear about other cultures. Eventually, we began to flirt more obviously with one another, eventually becoming distant sweethearts. Uh, boy. It felt wonderful at the time, but eventually it would begin to crumble. Others know. The rest of the story takes place around early season 4, probably only so long after a Equestricals 1. This is just a short establishing chapter 1. I wrote because I really wanted to write this idea. Okay, so, um, this was a fanfic that I found today, and was soon to be in the month of love, so I thought I would, um, you know, start doing a love story, the, and to be, and, and to get a pretty much one on this, this story is really good. I started reading the first chapter of this, and it's not that bad. So, I will be doing the month of love starting next month. This is the first story that I read for a love story. So, um, that's pretty much it. So, this is 8th Flame, and catch y'all in the next video. And I hope you have a splendid day. Peace.